This is really an ambitious project. It's the first highway bridge to cross Lake Champlain. After researching six different locations, the Lake Champlain Bridge Commission ultimately chose one of the few feasible locations and the most historic and scenic site. The bridge would connect Chimney Point, Vermont to Crown Point, New York. And so it became necessary for engineers to design bridges that somehow responded to these scenic locales. At the same time, obtaining clearance, sufficient clearance above the waterway is essential. And so it's a, a struggle to achieve a, a balance between minimizing the bridge size as a way to minimize visual impact in scenic locations. And the Lake Champlain Bridge became the prototype for solving that problem. Challenges would continue to arise throughout construction. The channel piers had to be built on bedrock, which at its deepest point was 100 feet below the lake's surface. So the bridge piers at the time became some of the tallest piers to use the open cofferdam process. They built a cofferdam all the way down to bedrock and used a steel frame to support that cofferdam. That steel frame became a series of steel cages, and then the concrete was poured around those steel cages all the way up to a level slightly below the water level of the lake. And then uh, from that point on, for those channel piers, the cofferdams were pumped dry and the concrete was poured in that dry area. Also innovative for the time was the construction of the bridge's channel span without the use of false work. Historically, bridges under construction were supported by temporary wooden structures, but the Lake Champlain Bridge engineers had to keep the channel open for lake traffic. So the engineers devised a system of cantilevers mounted on the channel piers and suspended each of those cantilevers outward to the point where they actually met. And cantilever designs can both extend span length and also reduce construction costs, which is what was valuable here. The old bridge was built in a truss, which is uh, comprised of lots of little pieces with lots of rivets. Steel back then wasn't available in long pieces like it is now. Uh, so it was painstakingly put together. Much different equipment, very simple equipment, old wood derricks and lifting equipment and train tracks on the bridge to, to push concrete carts out on. It was a much different time of construction when you used a lot more labor and a lot less equipment. Despite the intense workload, the Lake Champlain Bridge engineers worked through a North Country winter and completed the construction of the 1929 bridge in just over 14 months. As the final pieces of steel connected at the top, the foreman called the company engineer and said, the holes don't line up to get the bolt in. And he said, well, uh, it's morning. This afternoon, with the sun on it, it will expand enough so they will be fine. And they were. 